a load GameStop. As you can see, it's already loaded GameStop. <laughs> That's really, really fast. It's amazing. This tablet can all can almost uh, you can almost uh, use this as your uh, everyday cell phone, even though it's not really a cell phone. This can almost replace your cell phone if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's that really good of a tablet to almost replace your cell phone, except for like I said, it has no uh, 3G or 4G capability, so you have to tether it to a phone or get some kind of device that can give you uh, Wi-Fi or internet uh, connection. But other other than that, this tablet can almost replace your uh, everyday cell phone. It's that good of a tablet for $200. You're playing, you're playing for one of the best, as of now, you're paying for like almost one of the best tablets on the market. There's only about three or four tablets out there that can com compete with this tablet actually as of uh, August 2012. It's, it's a really nice tablet. I'll go ahead and exit out of here. And like I said, on, on Jelly Bean, all the uh, controls are on the bottom of the screen. So you got your back button, you got your home button, and you got your recent uh, apps. I'll go ahead and show you recent apps. Those are all the apps that I'm running. I currently have Google going and if you want to uh, get rid of it from the tablet you can just swipe across and it'll stop it whoops well it's already it'll stop it and there you go boom it's gone out the way and uh, one new thing in the jelly bean they did add what they did add a uh, Google now I'll go ahead and uh, show you Google now you just hold down the home button and then you just swipe up and you got Google now it is kind of like Siri but not as robust as Siri it does do Siri-like things, but it's not full Siri. It won't act like your friend or anything, but it is pretty cool. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. How old is Obama? Barack Obama is 51 years old. See, and then it pulls up a card and shows you, shows you uh, whatever you're going to talk to. It is pretty cool. I'll go ahead and do another one. Where was he born? Obama place of birth is Honolulu see it does go you can go farther than that you can go in detail and stuff it is pretty cool but don't don't get it too excited it ain't fully functional like Siri it can't act as your friend or anything but it is a very cool experience you do feel like you're using Siri on the Google Nexus 7 but not full Siri I'll go ahead and do something a little bit complicated where it can't actually find it can't actually find an answer for it how was ice cream made See, and then if it doesn't actually find it, it just brings up the Google search. I'll go ahead and do one more. Because it has a Google tablet, of course, and it's centered around Google application. So it will bring up Google uh, search bar if it doesn't know the answer. Who invented basketball? James Naismith invented basketball. Well, that one I found. It, it is pretty smart, to be honest, but it won't do everything. You can't, like, ask it, like, do you want to... Uh, do you want to play with me or, or can you tell me a joke or anything? It's not that robust, but it is still pretty cool. You do feel like you're using Siri on this tablet. I am very happy with it. I'll go ahead and do the weather weather one. What's the weather like in Dallas, Texas? It's 92 degrees and cloudy in Dallas. It is a pretty cool experience, honestly. Not many. Will it rain tomorrow in Dallas? Yes. Rain is expected tomorrow in Dallas. See, it is pretty cool. And one cool thing about uh, Google Now instead of Siri, it sounds more like a person talking than an actual robot. Like, Siri is a little bit clunky, but on here it does sound more like an actual person talking. They did try to fix that in the uh, Jelly Bean. When they made their version of Siri, it does sound more, more natural, like you're talking to an actual person in real life, which is kind of cool. I'll go ahead and back out of there. I'll go ahead and show you the Google Play Store. Here's what the Google Play Store looks like. Like I said, they did add uh, apps, music, magazines, movies, movies and TV and books. So you can now uh, you can now read books on here, and you can uh, you can get movies and TV straight from one store, which is nice. They're not one separate stores; they're all one store. It's not like the app store where you've got the app store and you got that the iBooks or something where you can get uh, books. It's not like you got the app store and you got iTunes too to get your music and stuff. This is all in one app, which is really cool. So you got apps, music, like I said, all this cool stuff. Right out the gate, it's nice. And uh, right when you get this tablet, they do give you a, if you do, I think if you do buy from Google, a store, actually, you do get 25 free credit to spend in the store. You can get this tablet at Walmart and GameStop. I know those two carry this tablet, which is really nice. And one thing I forgot to mention with this tablet is, since this is running Jelly Bean, there are some applications that won't be able to run on this tablet, because Jelly Bean is pretty new. And uh, there are some applications in the App Store 
that won't work on the Play Store, that won't work with Jelly Bean, but 99% of the apps are apps I've tried at least work with the, with the Nexus 7 tablet. And since it is a tablet, there are some applications, even though they will work with the device, they don't fit the screen perfectly. I'll go ahead and download an app and show you what I'm talking about. I'll do. I'll show you speed test. I'll get speed test. It does download apps pretty fast, just as just like uh, loading pages on the internet. Or speedtest.net. I'll go ahead and download that. It only takes a second because the processor is really fast. It only takes a second to download applications on this. It's already installing it. See that's how fast the processor is and everything. It's amazing. I'll go ahead and open it. As you can see, speedtest.net. The application, anyway, it's not uh, anyway, it's not full screen. It is, it is a little thing in the middle of the screen. It's not currently full screen. Some apps are kind of clunky. They don't. They're not really meant for uh, the tablet. They're more on the uh, phone style. They're, some of the applications you download are both for phone and tablet. They're not really made for the tablet, so they do look weird. But most of them do look right and they do work good. They're just not meant for the tablet, like the iPad. Some of the apps are just meant for the iPad to take advantage of the screen and the capabilities. But some of that's not bad though. I didn't counter many like that. I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you uh, the processor and how fast games load on this tablet. Before I actually do that, I would like to load up Currents. I don't have an account, but I won't do that. But that's something new in uh, Jelly Bean. They do got this new service called Currents. I don't have an account there, so I can't actually use it. I'll go ahead and load up Dead Trigger before I end this review. Definitely check out this tablet. It is well worth $200 of your money. I do give this tablet a 9.5 out of 10, a very good score. Definitely buy it. You're not feeling like you're getting ripped off for $200. It, like I said, this can replace almost any cell phone. It is a pretty good processor. It is a very good tablet. I just wish it has a 3G or 4G capability, but I understand what Google's going through. They don't want people changing up their system. They want it to feel like full Android operating system. And the camera won't do it. The camera on here won't actually do it justice, so you probably won't see the full resolution of the screen. This is a, a FPS shooter, but anyway, it is almost 360 graphics-like, but like I said, the, my camera probably won't do it justice. You'll have to see it in person to believe it, but it is a very, very good game. It does look high def. It is amazing. I'll exit out, and then a zombie comes, and then you shoot him. So anyway, I give the Nexus tablet a 9.5 out of 10, a very good tablet for the money. Definitely check it out. Go pick it up. It definitely beats the Kindle Fire in hundreds and hundreds of ways. I definitely recommend getting this tablet. For a cheap, low-budget tablet, definitely pick, pick up the tablet. It's only 7 inches right now, but they're planning on making a 10-inch maybe in the future. I'm not quite sure. But definitely check this tablet out. Once again, it is the Google Nexus 7 made by Ushis for Google. And peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next review. Uh, okay.